Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Electricity 101, and my name is Spibs, and today we're going to continue looking at circuits that you could implement either into a puzzle or trap base. So let's get into this one. The aim of this puzzle is to exit through this door. To do that, we have to be able to provide power to this switch. This is what your test subjects will have to figure out to be able to survive. Let's look at how we can do that. As I walk down the corridor, I somehow trigger the garage door. I can see that I'm not able to use that switch, so I go under here. I'm cautious of traps above me, so I make sure there's nothing here. Fair enough. And it would seem that I'm trapped. So let's take a closer look at what actually happened there. As I entered further into the corridor, I triggered the laser that is placed behind the furnace here. If I do that again, the garage door opens just like before. I have to try and figure out how to get power to this switch so I can get out. I crawl under here. I see that there's a timer there with the sign next to it indicating that that probably provides power. I check for traps. And all I see instead of traps is one of, you know, Spibs's obviously original paintings there. If I activate this timer, I can see now the switch next to the door does actually have power. What I've done, I've just changed some of the settings in the circuit so we have a little bit more time in here. When the timer of the circuit expires, not this timer but a different one which I'll show you in a moment, the garage door shuts, trapping me in here if I haven't made it out already, and it opens this door to reveal shotgun traps. Let's have a look at how we actually build this circuit. Here in front of us is the heart of the circuit. It uses approximately 15 units of power, and to build it in this particular configuration, you'll need one solar panel, five electrical branches, three door controllers, two timers, one switch, one blocker, and one laser detector. Let's have a look at how to wire it up. As usual, if you need to slow it down at all, then go ahead and do so, or any questions you have, then just hit me up in the comments. Now that we've finished connecting all the components, all we have left to do is just make sure that the circuit is receiving enough power. In this particular circuit, there's only two electrical branches that we need to program to something else from the default. This first one here, we need to program to 15. This supplies the whole circuit with just enough power to make sure everything runs. And we have the option of running the remaining power, especially if you have a larger power source, off to other parts of the base. The second electrical branch is programmed to five and then the remaining three are left at default. Providing you've done all those steps correctly, we should now be able to test if the circuit works. If I walk through the laser, we should see the garage door open. If I come into here and activate this timer, I should see that switch receive power, which it does. Now I see that the timer has now expired and this door now opens which would have our traps behind it and the garage door shuts. That timer that we just switched on before is still on so this switch is still receiving power and if I turn this switch on 
the door opens. All that's left to do now is just to add the finishing touches. You place whichever kind of traps you want in the base. And we place our furnace in front of our laser detector, making sure the beam is no longer visible. And then all you have to decide is the duration on each timer. This will depend on how you've laid out your base and exactly how challenging you want to make it for the people entering the base, and especially if it's a trap or a puzzle base. I hope all of that made sense, but as usual, if you had any questions whatsoever, hit me up in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys. And as usual, if you didn't like the episode, then hit that thumbs down. However, if you did enjoy the episode, smash that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter for all the latest updates. The link will be in the description below. Any other links that I may have mentioned in the video will also be in the description below. Otherwise, guys, we will see you in the next one. Take care.